morning everybody, I'm David Wood for Bag Up TV. It seems like forever we've not been on a match. A couple of weeks it's been. Um, don't know the reason why really. Uh, a lot of things got cancelled due to weather, all sorts of stuff. So anyway, we're back on the back on the trail and um, this is the Golden Rod Feeder Championship Qualifier at Allcroft Fisheries. Now, it was scheduled for sometime in January, I'm going to say July then, in January. But it was, that, it was that one of them days where it was frozen and then we all nipped up and stuck, went to Airfield instead. Um, so it was one of them days. But it's been rescheduled for today. Allcroft has been fishing quite well, but the last couple of days we've had all these storms and the storms hit all over I'm glad we're not down south so any, anybody down south I hope you're all right down there it looks absolutely terrible with the weather conditions and I hope everybody's safe and well down there because it's it had a red warning and winds were getting flown over and all sorts of stuff O2s cracked open and all sorts it's, it looks a bloody nightmare so anyway I hope everybody's safe and well we didn't get that much much bad weather wise it was quite windy and breezy and what have you but we didn't have any of that that what's happened down south and in london looks terrible so um so we're on this it's the saturday it, i think okay, the uh, bad weather were on thursday friday um, yesterday were quite bad as well so saturday today it doesn't look too bad. I don't think we're going to get them really strong winds or anything. We're going to get some rain though. It's two degrees at the moment. It's absolutely freezing. Um, and it's supposed to, uh, later on, get up to about seven. That's the highest it's going to go today. So it might be winter style fishing. So it's going to be a method feeder to the other side. Method feeder shore. And that's about it really i wouldn't think there's going to be anything else that you can do just have to see where we get drawn at. i'm looking for a good peg on moat or bridge i think there's a few on croft but i don't fancy that for carp fishing unless you get in a corner so hopefully we'll get a good draw um hopefully we'll get there on time and have a breakfast and that is it let's hope fingers crossed we do all right today right i'm gonna get there now and uh, we'll see how the day goes Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis when i was dead drunk and i couldn't picture this 50 inch screen money green Black and plus, like Danger, rough, on Trizac, Trizac. 20 quid, yeah? In there, Sam. <laughs> well, I'm David Wood, by the way. I bought his ticket. Oh, fucking hell. Right, well, I'm glad, <laughs> glad we know about that. Right, what's your name again? David Wood. David this Wood. This is the 22nd Wood. of January qualified, weren't it? Yeah.
Right, here we are, peg uh, 91 on moat and uh, it doesn't look too bad. I've had a bit of a disaster this morning. I've had a bit of a uh, falling down here, look. Just down there, slipped off the side of the uh, pallet and uh, put my foot in. Um, so it's gone up to me, uh, gone up to my waist. So that's great, isn't it? That's a good, great start. Um, it doesn't look too bad, but we want to be further up there in the, uh, I think it's about 120 or something, in the corners. It's all about the corners today. Corner up there, corner down there. And that's where uh, the fish will be. But uh, like I said, we're just going to start on a method, short, uh, and then we'll probably have a look longer and see what happens. Get them big loud bangs there to scare the birds off, aren't they? A few fields round here, I think. So, yeah, not the best of start. Gone in already. I ain't fallen in for a bit since uh, Westwood last year, so I'm going to have to be careful on that. Bloody hell. Can't believe it, can you? Um, so that's it. It's just basically micros, a little bit of ground bait. Uh, here we go, look. Got some micros, a bit of ground bait. Some nice special G and special dark. A few maggots. And then look at this beauty. What I've got in the old shop. Bit of a, excuse me, bit of a chocolate millionaire thing, isn't it, I think. Uh, and that's what we're going to be fishing, basically. Not not the cake, but ground bait and um, micros. And then just chucking it around the peg, see if we can find a few. Um, and that will be a lot, I think. Um... I don't think we're going to win the zone from here but stay positive you know we might get a few fish and hopefully nick a section you never know the fish might have moved it's been ridiculously weather and it last couple of weeks uh, last uh, couple of days sorry um so you never know anyway but uh... mark rogers here my good friend mark the most hated angler go on mark He's drawn a corner up there, 66, so he's quite happy. Uh, but we'll just have to see how it goes. And um, yeah, fingers crossed. See you in a bit. Should be in now.
for one for being a bit of a wimp but I'm absolutely freezing and it's because I've obviously fell in up to my blooming waist and uh, sat there for two and a half hours well no more 10 11 12 well it's nearly two o'clock now it says 
and I couldn't stand it anymore but I just had to come in the car put the heaters on oh, I'm probably going to be worse when I go out but I couldn't stand it anymore um, I've had I've had one carp about six or seven pound and a skimmer um, I'm doing all right to be honest but I just keep I don't know if I'll be able to uh, carry on anymore you know, just that falling in at the start's just done me and uh, it's freezing I don't uh, I thought oh, I'll be all right but I can't feel my bloody feet and uh, yeah I'm absolutely freezing now so I thought I, I've got to come in car and have a warm-up even if it's bad even if it's worse when I go out there's only what an hour and a half left and uh, normally the last hour is the best so I'm gonna try and just get warm for 10-15 minutes and then if I feel any worse I'm just gonna pack up and go home I know it's what can you do when you blow me and just slip off at platform and fall in it's bloody it's done me head in that because uh, I think uh, well I wouldn't have caught any more fish because I've caught the fish but I'm gonna have to give it 10 20 minutes and just sit in car and then if I can if I can stand the last hour and just go and fish for the last hour I'll try my best but no one's catching anything I think I think a guy down here's had a carp Burley next door's had a eight little skimmer and I ain't seen anybody else catch a thing but I couldn't stand it anymore I'm shivering and I know everybody probably says, take you take this off take that off but I just I just can't be really bothered um, I know when you when you wet you're supposed to take it all off aren't you and just but I ain't got any other boots I ain't got any other socks I ain't got any other trousers or all like that so I can't really take it off and put all else on because I ain't got all else so I've had it really I've stuck it out best I can I've caught I mean I caught that carp and I thought oh here we go here we go and now we're all right and it's been hammering it down with rain hammering it down with rain but uh, yeah Oh, and I've bloody lost a, I lost a bream as well. I chuck, chucked in it, it went, wur, 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 and I thought, oh, that's a bream bite. And I, and I, and it, and I knew it was one of them better bream as well, a big, uh, big black thing. Anyway, I got it about halfway, and then it just, just come off. So that were a bit uh, unlucky. I thought, oh, my luck's in here. I've caught a carp, and then how it changes. But uh, I get another ten minutes in the car. Sorry if it's a bit too uh, loud, but I've got the all the uh, eaters on and, and everything blowing, trying to blow and just get a little bit warmer because uh, I can't stand it anymore. So we'll see what happens. I mean, I do apologise. It's one of them things when you fall in in the winter. I mean, really, I suppose, yes, you should bring some extra clothing with you, but you don't think that you're just going to fall in and, and what have you. And, uh, yeah, I've just slipped on the platform and gone in. What could you do? I, I suppose uh, I suppose a lot of people have done it before and it's happened to me today. I haven't fallen in for ages either. Last time I fell in were at summer and it were at Westwood Dam and that didn't even bother. And uh, I think I've grazed all my bloody knee and all and put my hand in a blooming um, one of them prickly bushes. Ah, but it is what it is i'm trying to say trying to stay tough get out there and do it but uh i just can't and i thought i've got to come in and uh, i'm gonna give it 10 minutes like i said and then we'll see what happens if not i'm just gonna pack up right quick chuck all my stuff in and go home because and, and just call it a bloody day what can i do what can i do sorry for the people out there wanting to see a live match and i done all right and all to like all croft it, it's uh I'm sure I had another couple of carp in there, but uh, anyway, we'll see. See you in a bit. Well, I'm back on the old box. I packed all my rods away. I've got one rod, and uh, I'll just give it half an hour now. See if we can get a get another carp. But uh, no one's caught a lot, so 
just hoping for that one loose cat mocking about and uh, tip goes round. But uh, lot of stuff coming down now because of wind and stuff. Dave barely next door, he's had enough, he's had one skimmer, he's gonna pub. Dale's just come over and said he's gonna pub, so that's it, he's off. So we'll give it this half an hour. I do feel a bit better now. I feel a bit warmer after I've sat in the car for 20 minutes. Um and it's not as cold, so it's done me a world of good. Right crack on if we get one i'll film it if not uh we'll see you at the end so I'll see you in a bit well that's it didn't get any more but uh let's get packed up and we'll see what this car weighs on its own you never know what happens in this section so right that's it what a day get packed up I just thought I'd go in and check the results because I didn't know what the sections were but it looked like uh, a kid further down I got £12 and he won the section um, so a bit disappointed not to get a section win but I think me uh, falling in has pretty much done me because I've had well, I went and sat in the car for half an hour dinner, and uh, I just couldn't fish anymore. But once I once I sat in the car and went back fishing for the last hour, I did feel all right. And uh, but it is what it is, isn't it? What can you do? What can I do? Bloody fell in lake, and that were it. Um. So, um, I think Simon Fry's one bridge. I will put the results up for you now, you can have a look, but I'm not too sure. I think Simon Fry has one bridge. Um, oh, I can't remember his name, I've just been talking to him as well. He had 60, 66 pound on peg six on moat, which corner again, great, great peg that to be in. And then uh, a lad out my zone was worn from a guy, I think you were next to Mark Roger, somewhere up there, and he had 18 pounds and he's won the zone. So that's it. 18 pounds I wanted. I needed three carp and a couple of I mean there's carp in there to 18 pounds, so you never know, do you? But it is what it is. And uh what a bloody day I've had going uh terrible breakfast when I got there. Bloody beans were cold, and then, uh, and then I bloody fall in. So not a good day at all. Not, uh, not the best. But we uh, get all this. We dust down and get going again for the next one at Boston Lakes next Saturday it is. So hopefully uh, we can draw a good peg on there. One two four, please, please one two four and uh, a, section, a zone when it'd be lovely so that is it uh, getting back now for the old Brook v Khan fight tonight Sheffield zone Kel Brook come on Kel smash him up to pieces I just uh, I just hope Kel does him or it's a, and, but Khan's just fast as hell in he's, he's like super fast but he's got a glass glass chin um, so um, we'll see what happens I just hope Brook smashes his face to pieces because uh, I can't stand Amir Khan um, I 
and he's a Sheffield boy, you know, not far from us. So uh, yeah, I, in fact, I met Kel Brook a couple of times. Um, good mates with my friend Chris uh, Ferguson back in the day. So, but that is it. Right, massive thank you to all the members. Hit that join button if you want to become a member. Pick which option you want to. Loads and loads of videos on there. Some new videos on at the moment. Tackle tour. People ask me all about tackle. But um, I've put it on. My members only. So if you want to join, see what tackle I've got. See what I'm doing in the week. All that good stuff. Uh, become a member. And uh, yeah, there's over 100 videos on there. So massive thanks to all the members that have joined uh, means a lot and if you want to become part of the membership just hit that join button and uh, become a member and then click the playlist members only and get all the videos uh, that is it so I hope everybody's staying safe out there and uh, didn't get caught in that storm hopefully next weekend it'll be nice it'll warm up a bit and we'll have a feeder buzz or buy and absolute smash it up I'm gonna say Bonanza, Bonanza, Bonanza. I don't know. It didn't come out right. Right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Keep on bagging. We out. <laughs>